YouTube. It's good. Today was here. Back again with another video. And this video today is going to be me and Jay Money. By the way, Elsie Muscles, I win. Yeah, you got Greetings shit. Greetings all you YouTubers out there. Thank you all for watching and thanks for another collaboration with Alexander the Great and yours truly, Romy or Jay Money. And today we have a treat for you. Folks. This a special it, treat. This Alexander is going... the Great, present what we have for sort today. Oh, <laughs> Top 10 worst gimmicks of all time. Wrestling oh history. God. There have been a lot of bad gimmicks. I, I mean, know, there's, terrible. There's so many to choose from. Like, when they come on the TV, you instantly you just want to be like, click, change the channel. Oh, you want an 86 demo. Exactly. Um, not going to lie, the coming up with this list for him was a lot, very hard. It was, it was torturous because there are so many to choose from. So many. And, yeah, I had to do a lot of, you know, a lot of research into the wrestling history. Right. And just configuring which is worse on each level. That took me a while, but I got my list together. And I have a shitload of honorable mentions. Honorable <laughs> All right. Mentions, I'll, Go, I'll, right I'll, Go right ahead. If you want me to. Go right ahead. alphabetical order. Uh... The three count, okay, you know, the number three. The three count with Tank Abbott. Oh, three count. Akeem, the big African dude, he was doing that stupid dancing shit. Aldo Montoya, the Portuguese man of war. <laughs> Arachna Man. I don't know if you know who that was. In early WCW, he was like a Spider-Man ripoff. Oh, wow. He was in purple and uh, yellow. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Uh, Battle Cat, who's a guy in a cat mask who thinks he was a cat. Um, Billy and Chuck, the tag team. <laughs> at that at that time, I thought it was okay. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> oh, TV wedding, and they were on the Today Show, and Matt <laughs> Lauer gave him a gravy boat. <laughs> okay, I'm like, sure about that. They were on the T Today Show, I remember that vividly, and Matt Lauer presented them with a gravy boat for their wedding gift. <laughs> Oh, damn it, I forgot Spark Club. The Bushwhackers. I, I couldn't stand those guys, I'm sorry. Crime Time. Yeah, Vince McMahon, he's not racist? No. Yeah, he is. Uh, Damien Demento. Oh, my. Was, oh, yeah, this was weird. The Ding Dongs. This was a tag team where they came out in these orange suits and they had bells on them and shit in WCW. Yeah, stupid. The Disco Inferno. Doink the Cloud. Fake Diesel and Fake Razor Ramon. <laughs> Fandango. Oh. oh my god. Yeah, you shut that finger <laughs> up your ass. That's stupid shit. Dude. Plus, the Funkasaurus with Tensai. Tons of funk. Oh god. Giant Gonzalez. Gilbert. Glacier, the Sub Zero ripoff. <laughs> the Great Kali Punjabi Playboy. The awful piss break with the cheese. The cheese. Um, the kiss demon. That was that, oh, that, it was like a guy. Oh, right, 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 right. That was. And, oh, yeah. Los Matadores. Once again, this one, man, he's not racist, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, the maestro from WCW. Uh, man Mountain Rock. He was that big fat so that was playing that goddamn guitar. The long hair, and he's got like the t uh, like the st uh, colorful shirts. Oh, man. that almost made my top fifteen. Uh, let me scroll down here a little top bit. Top fifteen? Uh, huh? Top fifteen? Almost. Um, meat or plant Stacy? Meat. Remember that guy? Meat. Meat. Yeah. <laughs> His name was Meat. Yeah. Molly Mosh or Molly Holly? Dumb. Uh, Mr. America. Oh, that's not Hulk Hogan at all. Oh no. Fucking Ray Charles could have saw that shit coming. Yeah. Oh, go okay. again. Nails. Nails. He was that guy who was like a convicted like criminal with that big orange suit, and he was going up against the big boss man. Oz. Oz was Kevin Nash's early gimmick. I think that was like his debut or something. Oh, that was pretty bad. Paul. Uh, Paul Burchill. He was that black beard pirate gimmick. This all, okay, this one, I had it, but it just got bumped off. The Repo Man. The 
Um, Reverend Devon Dudley. Oh, oh testify! Oh, my God. The right to censor? Stupid. Roadblock. That was in WCW. Rosie! That, he was part of the three-minute warning, and he became that stupid-ass uh, superhero. Sidekick. Oh, seven. That was the, that was the, um, Dustin Runnels, Goldust, when he went to WCW, and he was like this... We, and he just cut it that amazing real promo. Oh, by the my name is Seven, by the way. <laughs> um, another one that almost made my top 15 but barely got missed. Santino Morella. Almost. Simon Dean. Stupid. I know you you, you like that. I couldn't stand this guy. Skinner. Oh, I like Skinner. He's from the Everglades, man. Uh, the Spirit Squad. <laughs> T.L. Um, Hopper, he was that guy who had like a job as a plumber. He came out with a freaking plunger and shit. Oh man, that was dumb. Trevor Murdoch. Trevor uh, Murdoch. He uh, looked like Seamus if he just let himself go, man. Oh yeah. Uh, tugboat. <laughs> Waylon Mercy. He was that guy who was like a mix between a natural born killer and Kate Fear. Oh. No. Okay. No, uh, no recollection. This one, wait, hold on a second. Let me just look at this real quick. No, I'm sorry. Uh, Zeus. Zeus. <laughs> Zeus. And the zombie from the horrible ECW. Oh, my. <laughs> so those, I, uh, I had a lot of them, but I had to mention those because I don't want to leave nothing out. Now it's your turn to take the floor because I need a drink. Wow. Um, a lot of those are probably going to... Be on my list. Spoiler alert. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. Let's see. One, two, three. And I, I mentioned to Alexander the Great, like, hey, let's make this 15. Five. Do... Five already on my... <laughs> uh, I had to mention, let's do 15 because there's so many that doing a 10 list doesn't justify. Oh, so we're doing, we are doing 15? Well, you can, okay, well... If you want me to name off my five honorable mentions really qu like the true honorable mentions, I'll go through really quickly. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. 15, uh, Duke Dumpster Dross. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fucking garbage. I'm going to see a garbage man. I just go out in my front porch and wait every Tuesday morning. And there he is showing up. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, number 14, the Yeti. That big mummy who came out uh, and he was like bear hugging. Uh, Hulk Hogan, along with, on, uh, I was going to say Andre the Giant, along with the Giant, Yeti was that really tall, mummified creature in WCW. Don't remember that at all. Uh, number 13, the Goon. The Goon. I mean, the guy was, okay, he was a uh, wild bill uh, before he turned, it was a cool gimmick, and then he turned to this fucking hockey player bullshit. Ugh. Yeah. Dumb. Number 12, okay, motherfuck. This guy. I hate this guy. Oklahoma. You don't know who he is? Oklahoma? Okay. He's Ed Ferrara. He was a guy who, was, who, who, you know, who worked along with Vince Russo, that other cocksucker douchebag. And he created his character in the next day called Oklahoma, where it was a, a just a mean-spirited parody of Jim Ross. Oh, I remember that. Fuck you, man. Jim yeah. Ross is the shit, dude. You, Oklahoma, are a piece of shit. Yep. Moving on. Number in my number eleven, Max Moon. <laughs> Max Moon. He was Conan. Uh, it was Conan. He came out and he was shooting the fireworks. And he oh was right, the, right, 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 right. Between a Tetris and a Tron character. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, oh man, so those are my honorable, my top five honorable mentions. All right, I have also have five honorable mentions, starting out with the goon. <laughs> Friggin' hockey player, get the hell out of here. <laughs> also, Duke the Dumpster Drozzy! <laughs> Garbage Duke truck the, guy! Duke the Comp Dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> um, another guy you already mentioned, Nails. Oh, man. Nails. I mean, seriously. They honestly thought that he was going to be the next big challenge to The Undertaker back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> the Undertaker's looking at him like, get the fuck out of my room. <laughs> That'll put some butts in some seats. Um, you probably never heard of this guy, the Renegade. Do you remember that? Oh, I forgot 
That was WCW's poor imitation of the Ultimate Warrior. Yes! I've heard of the guy, I've never seen any of his matches before, but I was like, oh my god, he looks like a, like a comic book character gone wrong. It's, it's exactly like the Ultimate Warrior back in the day. Oh man, that was bad. And last, but certainly not least, Naked Midian. I'm not familiar with that. Um... Remember Midian back in the day? He was like the, um, one of the Undertaker's henchmen back in the Ministry of Darkness. Okay, um, yes. Like a year after or so after that died, they Did had him in like something like, like some kind of. He had like, like a fanny pack only and like a thong. Oh, God. It's like, come on, man. I thought you had no, more respect no. for yourself. Respect? He didn't have no respect. Yeah, he, dude. <laughs> All merit went out the fucking window when he put on that stupid thing. Fanny pack. He went the fanny pack as Hulk Hogan, but that's a whole different story. Right, and um, those are our honorable mentions. Stay tuned for the top ten.